How do you sell a house in Dallas, Texas right now? The answer may actually surprise you because the Dallas, Texas real estate market is a bit of a quagmire. It's a mess for some good reasons and some bad reasons. One of them being that there's tens of thousands of real estate agents. I'm not exaggerating. You're talking about 40,000 plus people in North Texas with a real estate license. Not all of them are full-time, not all of them are residential, but you're talking about a ton of people working in residential real estate in Dallas, Texas. And the mess is they're representing people. So most clients, most buyers, most sellers, more importantly for selling your house, most buyers are represented by this massive variety of agents, part-time, equipped, ill-equipped, experts, not so much, new and old, all of the above. So it's important for you, first of all, and we won't spend a lot of time on this, but it's important for you to have a really, really great full-time dedicated agent who does not work completely by themselves with the right tools, technology, access, relationships, and all those things to help lead and guide you. That person needs to have a proven repeatable system. Okay, we've said it. Now, what does that person and you together need to do? We need to factor in what is happening in Dallas, Texas right now. Dallas tends to weather all sorts of economic and real estate volatility as well, if not better than any other part of the country. So depending on when you're listening to this, it really doesn't matter what the market conditions are, but you need to think about what they currently are. As the time of this recording, the market has gone a little bit slower for sellers than it previously was. Doesn't mean it's bad, but total activity has slowed down based on an increase in interest rates so that the buyer activity has dropped. So what does a seller need to do? You need to have a strategy to differentiate from the other homes on the market. You need to plan ahead, make sure that your property stands out from the others. There's seven main things that you or your real estate agent needs to do. Number one, I'd get it pre-inspected. Number two, I'd make sure you have world-class photography and that photography needs to be more than pretty pictures. It needs to communicate a strategy that connects with the next five things. I'd have it pre-inspected. I would get it staged so that the photos and the views and of course showings go well. Staging is not the same as design. So everyone's definition of staging is not the same. Make sure that it is priming a buyer to make a buying decision in 10 or 12 minutes where they'll never sit there, live there, sleep there, or eat there or anything else there. It is an advertisement. Staging is to advertise it. So pre-inspect it, stage it, world-class photography. Then we have to market this home really, really well. And we're also marketing multiple ways, macro marketing, most eyeballs possible, micro marketing to the specific most ideal buyer. So that's another thing you need to do is figure out not just who could buy it, but who should buy it. Who's that most ideal buyer? So that's the marketing piece. And then we want to create some scarcity. That's what we, that's part of what we talked about before. We want to differentiate from others. So a buyer feels like if I don't get this one, I can't get anything else because there's nothing else like it. We want to create urgency so that buyers feel like they need to hurry up and get this thing. We want to create some competition. We want to negotiate differently. That doesn't just mean standing firm on your price or meeting in the middle. There's bigger, better strategy around negotiation. And then we need to figure out how we execute all that as a solo owner or as a solo agent, how do I get all that stuff done? We need to execute that well with the right people, tools, technology, communication, and beyond. So there's a lot to this. Seven key things that are really highly dependent on the right people to help you do this. Of course, there's way, way more to do this at a world-class level, but right now in Dallas, Texas, those are the essential things you need to know and do understanding the broader picture that Dallas is a really highly attractive destination to many parts of the rest of the country, as well as a growing population and a growing real estate homeowner base right here. We've got land availability, currently lower inventory, but regardless of when you're hearing us, those seven things are key to help you sell your home successfully in Dallas, Texas. My name is Todd Tremonti. I'm a broker in the area. If we can help you, let me know.